Hi guys, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I look like this because I just got out of the shower and this video isn't really going to have me in it at all because it is my 2018 bullet journal flip through video and I wanted to just quickly hop on here and apologize for not uploading in so long. It is strictly because I have been really busy, like December was really busy for me and also I have been struggling so much to edit. I have filmed so many videos but then when it comes to editing them they always get deleted and it's been really really frustrating and so I waited until Christmas because I put a laptop on my Christmas list and I got a laptop for Christmas thank you mom and dad but basically I wanted a laptop that way I could actually like edit like for real and like use a software on the laptop to edit so hopefully maybe that's what I'll do with this video I don't know so let's get into the bullet journal I did want to mention that bullet journaling is different for everyone and this is my first year doing a bullet journal and at the beginning I definitely didn't know what I was doing and I come a long way I think and I just wanted to track my progress and show you guys how it turned out throughout from January to December with a couple months skipped in between. So let's get straight to the video. The bullet journal that I used this year is a black artist loft dot grid journal that I got from Michaels for about $5. And honestly, it's such a great starter notebook for anyone starting out with bullet journaling. But for Christmas, I got the Loistrom 1917 A5 dot grid journal, which I am so excited to bust into this bad boy for January. And for the rest of next year, I've been wanting this one like all year. I definitely think the Artist Loft one is kind of like a knockoff version of this one. But yeah, just a little spoiler of what's to come in 2019. But as for 2018, this is the one I used and I really liked it for a beginner. I'm just going to be flipping through and I'll explain a couple spreads here and there if I feel the need to, but... So as you can tell at the beginning, I kind of didn't really have a game plan of what I was doing. Um, everything was just kind of overall messy looking and I kind of kept this theme of like my cover pages looking the same, but it really progressed I think throughout the rest of the year. Here, as you can tell, I did a Hamilton theme, and I really like this one, but around March is when I, as you can tell, um, quit using my journal for a little bit. I just lacked motivation and wasn't really inspired to keep it going, and I just didn't have a lot going on at the time that I needed a planner for. Here in July, this page is really ugly, and I was just like writing down my feelings. But here in July is when I finally started watching more videos. Like, as you can tell, I got this idea from Amanda Rachel Lee. I get lots of my ideas from other YouTubers, so a lot of this isn't original. But here in July is when I came back, um, so I skipped a couple months, but it's kind of still messy looking. But I think I tried to improve a little bit. August and September and the following months are a couple of my favorites because I finally got more organized and I think they all turned it out turned out pretty well. September is another one of my favorite ones. I think this is one of my all-time favorites because I finally added in some printed out photos that I found on Pinterest and I think it turned out really nice. Here I kind of tried out a couple different um, weekly spreads. I didn't really know what I wanted to do so I changed it up each week as it went along and kind of messy but it's okay. 
For October, I bought, as you can see, a sticker pack from Michaels, and honestly, I love this month so dearly. I think it looks so cool with all the stickers and the washi tape I finally added in, and as you can tell, throughout the months, I, I think I got better and better and more organized. Here, I did like a Dutch door kind of thing that I saw in a YouTuber's video, and I think it turned out really nice. Here I drew Grimm from The Grimm Adventures of Billy and Mandy, which is like my favorite show as a child. But yeah, so I love that page. Um, November was kind of short and kind of boring, but that's okay. This spread I really dislike. When December rolled around, I really wanted to go all out for Christmas since I had never done a Christmassy spread before since this would be my first December bullet journaling and I really like this page. This is probably my favorite spread throughout the whole year and I think it's really pretty. It took me a lot of time, but it was definitely worth it. Again, with the weekly logs, I tried out different things and saw what worked and what didn't. Um, I ended up ditching the color key because I think it just looked really messy. And I tried to go for the more minimal look here by doing symbols instead of colors. And this brings us to our last spread where I am planning out 2019, some new things I want to try in the new year, and as well as setting up for January and kind of getting some ideas of what I want to do. And while this is only halfway through this journal, I think I'm still going to use it for planning out months and other things for 2019. But that is all for 2018. I think I've come a long way in this year in the bullet journaling process and I am so excited to see what 2019 has in store. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!